On Labor Day Saturday, the Sanford football team took on the 20th ranked Florida State Seminoles at Dope Campbell Stadium. Two schools with seemingly little in common, Sanford the private school of 4,700, Florida State the public school of about 40,000. Yet despite their many differences, one man ties a common thread between the two. His name is Bobby Bowden. Bowden had his coaching start at Sanford, his alma mater, more than 50 years ago. Current Sanford head coach Pat Sullivan and Bowden organized this meeting between the two programs, but things have turned out a little differently than originally planned. So we agreed to play the ball game, and of course they let, I wanted one more year, but uh, they, uh, they wouldn't let me have it, so uh, I'm out of it, you know, but uh, it, it's, it's, I won't be there, but I'll be watching it. I'll be watching. Yes, Jimbo Fisher is now at the helm for Florida State, but with Bowden watching from afar, don't think the historic ties are all lost. Bowden has the highest winning percentage for any Bulldog football coach in history, but Fisher has made a name for himself here as well. He played for Sanford as a senior in 1987 where he set multiple records that still hold today. Fisher also coached at Sanford from 1988 to 1992 as an assistant to Bobby's son, Terry Bowden. And though these two football programs have many differences, coaches Sullivan and Fisher have more in common than some may realize. Both were standout quarterbacks during their college days and both have worked as QB coaches with all-star quarterbacks such as Stan White and Jamarcus Russell. Sullivan's first season at Sanford was 2007. The same season, Fisher came to Florida State as an assistant. All of that building to the game Saturday afternoon. For Sanford fans, the day began with a tailgate at the Leon County Civic Center. Kickoff was soon to follow in front of a loud Seminole Nation of nearly 70,000. The Sanford defense provided a spark in the first quarter when senior Bryce Smith intercepted a pass from Heisman candidate Christian Ponder. Ponder wants to throw, straight drop over the middle, picked off, picked off by the Bulldogs. Here comes Bryce Smith, back to the 10 to the 12 yard line. Our uh, defensive coordinator threw in the blitz that uh, one of our deep passer linebackers was able to tip it off and uh, give us give our offense another chance to get the ball. And anything we contribute to uh, where we can put points on the board is always going to be good for us. With the Seminoles leading 7-0 at the end of the first, that was as close as Sanford would get the rest of the way. Florida State put up 35 more points in the second quarter before Sanford answered with its only points of the game, a pair of field goals from place kicker Cameron Yall. We'll take it as the Bulldogs come up with the final drive of that first half and put points on the board on the 41-yard field goal by sophomore place kicker Cameron Yall. 59-6 was the final score, but head coach Pat Sullivan remained optimistic after the game. I think when they go back and see the, the film, they'll, they'll study you know, some positive things. And that's what we got to draw on out of this is the positive stuff. We've got to correct the negative. We see the things, you know, some of our weaknesses were exposed. We, we know what they are. We'll have to go back and, you know, work on those. Uh, we saw some things that some of the guys did today that now we maybe can take and expand on and, and get them involved for a little bit more. So, you know, as, as hurt as I am right now, I saw a lot of positive things. Uh, you know, they, they didn't quit. Sanford will travel to Northwestern State next week before getting into another rigorous Southern Conference schedule. And former coach Bowden says with more time on his hands now, he may be able to make trips up to see his old stopping grounds a little more often. You know, it's something I've never been able to do. I coached football for 57 years, all of it in college. Now I'll be able to go watch Terry play, and, and, and I hope we can get up and watch some Sanford ball games. I'm Nathan Troost, Sanford University.